Morning from Makuzi. We had some rain last night, so the morning was pretty fresh. We boiled some water and filled up Uncle Stan. Near the car, I saw the biggest earthworm I have ever seen. We hit the road for our first morning drive at Makuze. I absolutely love watching birds after the rain. They are so puffed up and look like cute little fluff balls. One thing we really enjoyed this trip and really tried to capture for you guys were the bird calls. Hey Torix, we saw your crested guinea fowl. We saw Elvis. We saw Elvis. Very, very, very happy. Uh, it's a lifer for you. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of lifers at past 24 hours. So, uh, no, very, very happy. Yeah, very cool. We uh, went all the way up to Punda last year. And there they see the um, crested guinea fowl like in the camp and so on. And I saw him at the shoppy the one day. And Rex, you never saw them. And like people say they are like the common guinea fowl <laughs> up there with like the helmeted guinea fowl. And you, we never saw, you never saw it. It was very disappointing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but we luckily in KZN and yeah, they are very common. So I'm very glad you got to see them. Yeah, happy. These are cattle egrets. Super entertaining to watch. You will almost always find them next to a herd of buck, buffalo, or like their name suggests, cattle. They eat the insects the herd kicks up while walking through the grass. Makuze has a number of beautiful bird hides. They are all in excellent shape. And even though the park is small 
and you will usually be totally alone in the heights. They are massive. A lot of them even have grids on the floor, so you can watch the fish and terrapins swimming underneath. This sandpiper was not happy with these two plovers. We started making coffee in Bruno, but then other people came into the hide and we didn't want to disturb them with the noise. So we chucked everything into the plunger and enjoyed our coffee at the hide. We even made a new friend! What are you hearing, Riggs? We are busy trying to locate a gorgeous bush shrike. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous yeah, bird. Yeah. Let's hope we find it. Yeah. It will be uh, another lifer. Yeah. Bush shrikes are usually very, I don't know, shy or in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's where they get the name from, bush shrike. But let's see if we can find it. So unfortunately we didn't get any footage of the gorgeous bush rock, but we did see them. There were two of them hopping around in the bushes and um, you saw that green... Noble duck. Oh, a noble. Noble duck flew past. Um, you see that green, green back with that bright, bright red chest and that red chest stands out in yeah. the bush. Um, but the green bush and it was quite thick where we were we couldn't get any footage of them but we Whoa. hear them the whole time so let's hope that we can get because they are beautiful birds Instant really egg. gorgeous bush right <laughs> yeah really beautiful i hear one in the background yeah as well but yeah okay. there, there it goes. is <laughs> unfortunately no footage of the gorgeous bush right at makuze but Stay tuned for our Bonamanzi videos where we get a bit of footage of one and a tip from Fred, our bird guide, when he's best to spot them.
another hide roots. Hmm. And apparently it's oh, beautiful. <laughs> the sound that I made when I saw it from far. <laughs> it's really beautiful. The hides at Makuzi that are situated next to the pans are breathtaking. I could sit in these hides for hours, listening to all the bird calls and the gentle waves, so peaceful. Before we came to Makuzi, we heard a lot of people say that their bird hides are incredible. But I didn't realize how incredible their bird hides are. They are so beautiful, so well maintained, like there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. And their locations are just spot on. Wow, no, it's stunning. Really, very, very cool. The previous bird hide that we were at even had like a little picnic spot and a bathroom, beautiful bathrooms. And I mean, <laughs> just look at this location of this bird hide. Beautiful. Yo, well done, Makuzi. It's just a short drive to the next stunning bird eyed. Next stop was a picnic spot right next to the pan. And this is my silly husband trying to follow the rhino tracks.
We left the pan and started making our way home. We saw this incredible sighting in the middle of the road. Loads of dung beetles flocked to this one dung. I've never seen so many dung beetles at once. We really enjoyed watching this weaver um, weave, but we are not sure what this weaver is. The only weaver we could find with a dark eye is a southern brown-throated weaver, but we are still not 100% sure. Please comment down below if you know. We have arrived back at camp after a beautiful, beautiful morning drive. Really stunning here. I really have to commend Makuze on its maintenance of bird hides and picnic sites and so on. Really in beautiful condition. Their bathrooms are impeccable. Really very, very nice, like well done. But yeah, just looking for some other weird sound that we've heard in this tree not sure what bird it is looking for it really don't know we heard the easter nikita as well while we were driving and we stopped for like 15 minutes trying to find it and then it eventually disappeared but we couldn't find it i think it blends in well with this green trees and leaves and so on but yeah, let's enjoy a nice afternoon, chilled afternoon, and then we'll go out for our evening drive later. We had a little walk around a very empty camp and heard some unhappy campers or monkeys. The whole troop was sitting right on top of the branches, looking down and alarm calling. Unfortunately, we never found out what they were so unhappy about. We left for our evening drive and we heard a sound that we know very well, but hadn't seen yet. We are here at a bird height that is very, very close to camp. There's a hardy dog that really wants to be noticed. But there are elephants that are making their way closer to the waterhole. Okay. But we are not sure, we don't know if they are going to come drink. But, but they are slowly but surely making their way. There's no other birds except this hardy dog that is screaming. So let's see if they come closer would be pretty cool at eggs. Yeah, definitely. And it was very cool. Mm. 
It started raining, but that didn't bother us in the well-sheltered bird hide. Watching these gentle giants drink water so close to us was really special. We were totally alone at the bird hide and had this sighting all to ourselves. The bachelor herd of Ellie's left, and shortly after, a breeding herd came to quench their thirst. The rain had stopped and the Ellie's left, so it was time to leave the hide and head back to camp. How cool was that, Rix? Yeah, that was definitely worth it to wait. I agree. Two lots of elephants that came to drink. Very, very cool. Once again, another Makuzi hide and it is stunning. Nothing that we haven't come to expect from a Makuzi hide, Eric. No, it's beautiful. Okay. Really, you know, I think any park or most parks can, can learn something from this. I this agree is. with you. But let's go back to camp and, and go, go start our fire. Yeah. Your family is calling you, Riggs. This is my favorite thing about camping. This experience you don't get when staying in a chalet. This experience, sitting around a fire in your campsite, taking in all the sounds and smells. This is what I dream of when I'm not in the bush. This peacefulness you can't get anywhere else. And tonight, we are totally alone at Mshopi.
Thank you for watching day three of our KZN trip. We had a fantastic day at Makuze, exploring its beautiful bird hides. We managed to tick off four new birds from our lifer list. This brings our total to 375. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next vlog. We went all the way up to Punda to go and look for the Crested Franklins. Not just for the Crested Franklins. Can you fall? <laughs>